This is Iman Gaji, a prominent influencer, a public figure, and most importantly, an entrepreneur. With over 5 million YouTube subscribers and an estimated net worth of $80 million, Iman is the prime example of an entrepreneur with the best personal brand. Hi everyone, let's make this visually stunning reel today. Okay, so to be frank, you know, this video doesn't really have so much animation, but the design. The design is top notch, okay, going from the fonts and the, you know, color. So let's make it in CapCut. First, I'll keep this aside. I'll be showing you how I got these images, okay, and the assets. But I know that you all are lazy, so I'm putting it in the assets description folder, okay. So as you can see, I have gone here, okay. And let me show you my search. These are all the, you know, images which I found of Iman Gadzi for this reel. Okay, you have to just type Iman Gadzi, okay, and then select whichever images you want. Head on here, remove BG, this platform. Put your image here and then, you know, remove the background. Okay, it's as simple as that. And for the background, let me show you. Yeah, so I just searched here paper texture and I got this similar background. Okay, which he has used. So, you know, everything is available on the internet for free. You just have to search. Okay, so let's bring the background first. I'll just increase it to make it more, you know, like the video. What I'll do is let me just shrink this down. Yeah. So first I'll head on to adjustment and then, you know, I'll make some changes. First, I'll increase the fading. Then I will, you know, decrease the exposure, camera, uh, it's okay. Yeah, increase the contrast. Okay, decrease the highlight. Okay, so this much is good. So we use this as our background now. Okay. So first, as you can see, there is this effect. Okay. So, head on to text, bring in a default text. Hit on Windows plus dot key to open this and then head on to symbols. Now you can select this square box. Okay. Now let's make it a bit of black somewhere around grayish black this. Okay. Or what we can do is just, yeah see it's a bit of black okay so now i'll just increase the font size keep it in the middle then bring in all my images place them here okay like this head on to adjustment again decrease the saturation increase this okay increase the temperature towards the yellow and to make it get this look okay now i'll just you know copy this by dragging with alt button and your mouse or you can just control copy and control paste and let's make four copies now we have to just bring this next image put it over it and hit replace click let's do it with the rest okay now let's hide this all and place this properly now let's hide this and show this and place this properly okay so now as i have you know placed all the images the next step is to do this animation okay as you can see the photo is changing continuously before that there is also this animation as you can see here the yellow so what we can do is head on to text bring in a default text okay delete everything hit space now we'll choose the yellow color okay sorry Go to background and choose the yellow color. 
yeah put it over here we we'll just decrease the height okay can go to uniform scale and decrease the height a bit more let's just see if it matches with you know our image eyes okay it should be here let's decrease the width also let me zoom it in yeah let's place it here okay now i'll just increase the duration hit all plus g to make it a compound clip head on to video and then you now we can select multiply okay so you have got the same effect now now i'll just enable these clips again okay so now what i'll do is i'll just you know make the clips shorter and cut it so this will be the first one so i'll go around 4 3 to 4 frames okay then i'll just cut it and i'll bring my next image go through to 4 frames and then i'll cut it again and repeat this thing okay so let's increase this size a bit okay place this here and now just drag on the mask more up okay so it's done now just select this okay select your compound clip add on to video mask sorry animation no no add on to mask add mask split rotate it like this let me zoom it in so you can see put it here and then hit on position keyframe go ahead at the end okay and drag it out like this so now you can see Yeah, forty effect. Okay, so now you know this part is done. Then there is this text. So you know I will be using two text. One is this zodiac notes regular. This also you can you know find it in the you know just go on to Google and type this and you will find it. Make this black. Okay so this text you no know, let's select Europa grotesque message bold and you delete that see from here now copy this text again and this time they will select another font which is lemon tuesday this also you can find it okay in google i will just quote it here Delete this. Okay, and for the line part, just bring in another default text. Okay, hit the underscore key, add on towards curve, switch it on, make it around no nine degrees or something like that, and put it here like this. We can shrink it. Okay so you have got that line also let us see okay so this text has fade in animation okay so just head on to text and select fade in and for this line you have to just head on to first we extend it and make it a compound clip then head on to mask add mask split go here it on the keyframe go to the end and then drag this down okay so that is done now let's see what else is there okay so after this just select everything but don't select the background and hit alt plus g now as you can see there is a zoom in animation so head on to transform keyframe go ahead towards the end and then in scale this up a bit now 
let's see the animation hit alt plus k and then no hit the scale one and select bodies okay now let's end it here okay for the next animation as you can see this will come okay so for this what you have to do is again just bring in your default text windows crush dot key symbols and select the square okay select the off black color okay and then put it here now what we'll do is first i'll you know make this big i'll decrease the scale to zero and then i will hit on transform go ahead again hit on transform and increase the scaling now i'll hit alt plus k and then smoothen this out okay now as you can see there is this animation it's coming from the side okay don't worry you know this grunge effect noise effect i will tell at the end okay let's not add this here it will disturb the flow okay so it's coming from the side what you can do is now bring in your media and then i will bring in my image okay reduce this put it like here and now decrease the saturation and increase the temperature okay also the text a prominent influencer okay so there's a lot of things in different you know font styles are written that's why this enhances the quality of the video but i'll write just in prominent influencer okay you can okay now the last thing select everything hit alt plus g bring it out of the frame hit transform go ahead and then bring it in here now again hit alt plus k and then you know smoothen this out so we have got that animation okay another thing is head on to effects okay then bring in blur okay and put it here above the clip hit on you know this keyframe then go ahead and decrease it to zero okay hit alt plus k and then smoothen this out as you can see this is also blurred a bit when coming in okay so this was the first animation then this animation okay then as you can see the second animation is the same so this will be a good practice for you make the second animation yourself and write the text it is same how i did this okay so the next this most importantly so i'll bring the text again and i'll write most importantly okay now just head on to you know images bull images and what we can do is search for circle mark okay and write also transparent okay so this one is a good one let's save this image now let's bring it in put it here let's put it here okay and just you know we can add a simple fade in animation okay so this is there now for the next anime again this you no know, again the same animation you know as i told you in the beginning there is nothing with the animation only the design okay so as you can see he has used the same animation again but you can see the placement of his text 
you know, the font style he has selected, the, you know, scaling means the size of the text and, you know, using these images. So this one, okay, I have, you know, just copied, you know, his YouTube, you know, homepage and put it here. So let me just bring it. Okay, I have cut out the images and brought it here. Okay, so you can just, you know, let me put it here. Cut it. Then you can just, let's head on and do a slide up animation, increase the duration. Okay, you can see here, there are two types of animation, first going up and then this one. So this will come and then from the left. So what we can do is push this and then I will advise you to do it manually. These animation which I just did, I used a preset, slide up preset. Okay, but I advise you to do it manually. Here you have to just cut and cut this background also. Make them a compound clip by hitting Alt plus G. Now scale them. Okay, scale them and again we will copy our blur animation which we did and then let's see, okay, so it's one to the right, so just select this, hit on transform, go ahead, again hit on transform, go to the first keyframe, put it here, see. Now the tall plus K and then to the keyframing. I have called this. Only thing is as you can see here, this part. This 5.5 million subscribers. As you can see here with the yellow part what he has done. I told you this in the beginning only. This yellow thing. So just do that again. Okay. Okay. Now the next one is this animation so again text and then the person so let me just you know use this image okay but this background and then i'll just copy this background again here increase this increase the scaling then I will add our you no know, adjustments then I will bring in my animation of this you no know, paper so do the text again and again as you can see there is this zoom out animation so just select all plus G video transform go ahead again hit transform go to the starting scale it up hit all plus k and then another thing you have to do is bring again just copy or blur okay so he has used blur a few times for his you know transitions and then write your text here okay and then this end part is for you just bring in a b-roll apply the adjustment here okay and then write the text so this was edited by at the rate designer you can find it in his you know instagram we have to bring in our main effect just head on to adjustment bring in the custom adjustment to bring that grungy look put it here okay and then just go on to particles and increase it somewhere here okay now you can see you have got that particle look okay that noise effect you have got it can you know see this there are grain life effects which was on the original video okay just remember to use proper fonts and the rest of the animation i have already done